food. We all eat it, but where does it come from? Who makes it? Let's find out. I'm here with Todd Ingalls at Ingalls Farm, where he does his own work and also helps the other farmers with their uh, by using your, their, your machines. Correct? Yes, that's right. Yes. So, um, what, do you, what do you do exactly? Uh, we're in the uh, corn and soybean business uh, okay. and wheat as well, and uh, we do uh, custom work for other farmers, spraying and planting and uh, uh, nitrogen application, whatever whatever we do on our farm <laughs> with our machines. We try to uh, to work out with it to to, and to help pay for it. And what do you grow on your farm? Uh, corn, soya, and wheat. This year we have wheat in the rotation as well. Okay, and we're, we're standing right in front of a combine right now, right? Yes, And yes, the combine takes care of what? Uh, all three crops. All three crops? Yeah, okay, yes, that, that's, that's, I didn't know that. Yeah, yes, I didn't know that. You've been, you've been driving since how long? How, been, how long uh, have you been driving this bad boy? I was, uh, I was about 11 years old when my dad bought the first combine. Okay, yeah. 11 years yeah. old and that's when you started. You yes. started right away. He's like, this yeah, is my well, machine. My dad said, uh, here, you drive it to see how you do and I was faster than he was so he said okay okay you're in <laughs> and, and is this your favorite machine to drive or you've got another one yeah probably I would say the combines probably okay, and which most. one's like you know by the time you're done combining you got to say you're tired yeah for mm -hmm. sure after two months of it there towards the end of November and when, of when do you when do you start like combining uh well we will start in August okay and that'll take us right straight through August beginning of September there's a little break and then okay. the end of September Beginning October, we'll start soybean. Okay, so, so the little break is Brome Fair weekend. Yeah, uh, Brome Fair okay, weekend. Okay, so yeah. Brome Fair weekend is your yeah, one break, yeah, and then yeah. you go back to the. Okay. That's the last hurrah. That's then the you, last hurrah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's time to get stuff ready for uh, for October, for uh, well, the end of September, October soybean. And uh, soybean uh, intertwines with uh, uh, corn, like we both at the same time. Is, is this year a good year for like. What, like well, it started out as a really good year, a banner year, because uh, planting was uh, was fast. It came on in the beginning of May. It came on in a really intensive, hard and heavy, and and then we we hit a brick wall about the 25th or 6th of May, 24th, 5th of May. It started to rain, mm -hmm. and then all that we had planted uh, got flooded, and uh, and that's why you see the variations in the cornfields and uh, the soybeans are doing well, but the wheat as well. We call the wheat and we call the we call the corn uh, John Deere corn because it's yellow and green and yellow and green <laughs> and yellow and green. So yeah. And what's like a Brome Fair tradition that has to be done every year? Uh, I don't know if we can say that on camera. <laughs> great, great. We cannot say it on camera. So anyway, you want to give it a whirl. So uh, I want to give it a whirl if you're, if you're ready. Oh yeah, yeah, there's lots of room here. There's uh, a lot of room. But mainly, I mean, yeah. like, could you just tell everyone to move out of the way? Like, yeah, we'll move everything move, out of like, the way. The cars we'll, we'll and the buildings as well. <laughs> you, you know, I might just like step on the gas when I'm trying to press on the brake. So. Okay. so I'm about to go on that big thing with the kids. Um, not sure how that's going to go, but we're going to do it anyways. Uh, they're setting it up so I don't crash into anything. 